So I'm still figuring this out a bit, but uh, I decided instead of trying to wrap the six inch uh, elbow, I had this piece of eight inch straight, and I cut it down to length, bent both ends, and made a uh, jacket for the six inch T. See? And then I wrapped that in because it wouldn't go right to the thing. And I filled it up with our uh, that mix. And uh, so it's insulated now for the most part. And it seems to be helping. Uh, it move, seems to move, move, move the sweet spot back. Now watch the flame on this. It's going really good right there. And it goes out. But then I move it there. Starts again. Going out. Starts. Out. Starts. Out. See? The sweet spot is a little bit forward here. You get right into there. She really starts cooking. So, well, let's do more experiments here since you're watching. Grab a glove. You can see it's really going now, right there. That's the sweet spot. I'm going to take the cover off here. Doesn't really... Okay, that cover's off. Let's move it. Still pretty much... Just almost going out. Doesn't really affect the sweet spot. It's not an air issue. It's a draw and or heat issue, I believe. So now I got that cover back on, it's actually running better. It's burning faster. So now, see that 28 degrees? It's a lower number there. Humidity is the upper. And I'm about to start the stove. I got it about how I want it now. I'm not really going to change anything. So I got some cut up plywood here. Had some nails in it, just want to get rid of it. So there's the feed on the stove. I know this isn't, you're not going to be able to see in there until I probably get this started really, but. Hopefully it'll only take me a moment. Yeah, got a bunch of old paper. Stuff I'd normally shred, but instead I've been burning it. Uh, if you look at that picture, I made a little grate for burning wood pellets. So far, I haven't been too keen on the pellets, but. So, as you can see, she's burning pretty darn nice. I'm put the. Oh. My elbow on here. I'll put that on once we get this split. And I got a little spark ruster. It's not popping right now so it doesn't need the ruster. So I got 
not much in right now. I got still two nice slabs that I split in half that I could stick in there, but I think I'm just going to go with what I got in there right now because you want the air flow. If you stick too much in it, it doesn't get enough air and that doesn't burn good. See, she's cooking. She's burning pretty good right now. Our temp is over here now. All right, up to 36 degrees. It's only been a few, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe. Let's see if this thing works now. There we go, now it's working. It's only 165 on the side there. 300. Once we get up to 500 on the top, we know she's working. I might try adjusting the damper a little bit, but... I adjusted the wood a little bit to get better airflow. It sounds better right now. See, if you stick too much wood in here, it doesn't get enough airflow through. It doesn't burn as good. So I'd actually should have put in maybe a, a stick less or two. No more than this. Anyhow. Because it mucks up the airflow characteristics. Uh, I don't think she probably heated up yet. I just did it. But. Oh yeah, she did. So just changing that, I was at 330. All I did was move the wood around a little bit to get a little bit better airflow. Now we're at over 500 degrees. That's all I did. Now she's rocketing better. That's So that is a very important thing to watch. If you stick too much wood in, if you're you know, not letting enough air in, it ain't going to burn as good. And it's air to surface area of the wood, too. So now we're over 500 degrees. Now we're going to be heating up pretty quick in here. We're at 37. Now, thing to note, the walls aren't that well insulated. That's just one inch stuff. You can see gaps around it. Ceiling isn't insulated right there. There's frost on it. The wall isn't insulated back there. The ceiling up right against the wall still needs to, I need to stuff insulation up where the wall meets because there's a big air gap there. That back window thing isn't insulated, you know. But this is a approximately 25 foot by 30 foot room with a 16 foot ceiling in the center it's eight foot out at the eight or nine i'm not sure anyhow it's something over eight inches eight foot out here but that's 16 foot to the peak and we're already heated this area up to 39 degrees in i don't know half hour something like that what the temp is now. 489 it went down 492. Went down a little bit because the wood shifted. Again, airflow. So let's see what we got. 560. Ooh. She's really cooking now. And my floor here is already up to 40 degrees. It started out at that 28 or whatever. The ground, let's do the ground over in the middle there. 
Oh, so it's only 17 degrees over in the middle on the ground there. Another thing I could do is turn this fan on. It heats up the whole area better. But, it, at the start it'll cool the whole area down because it's moving all the air around. We're up to 39. Chimney pipe is 143, about a little over, oh, almost four feet from the stove. 145. We go to the other end, which is somewhere around 20, 25 feet. We'll count it off. I want to get the top of it. 75 degrees. So we're, we're, we're taking out a lot of that heat just in this long bit of stovepipe. So I got one section, we'll call that one section, we won't count the little bitty bit right by the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, call it twelve two foot sections. So approximately twenty four foot a stove pipe before we go outside that is collecting a lot of the heat in the shed that was my plan and it works works really well Five hundred and forty ish. Five fifty. The hottest I've gotten the top up to was seven hundred degrees and I just burnt up a whole bunch of cardboard. Um so I don't know if I could get that hot with just plain wood. Maybe. Maybe. And maybe with wood pellets it would help too, although those didn't seem to burn that good. It's hard to get airflow all around them because they tend to stick together. You can see down there it's blue flames. Good focus. Doesn't want to focus on that. Ooh. Scared me. <laughs> I'm going to see if I could drop some wood chips right on that plate. Let's see what that does. Or some wood pellets. So remember, that plate was red hot. I just used the, sh the feeder chute to drop the wood pellets on them. I can actually see the wood gas burning. See the smoke coming off them? It's gasifying, you know, it's the gas coming off them is, is igniting. It's pretty cool. wonder if our temps are going to get any higher. Yeah. Still right around almost 500. And you're rolling pretty good right now. Oh, here we go. 600. Those wood chips are a factor. I turn the fan off, see if I can get higher temps. We're up to 46 degrees. Remember, the fan cools down the whole room, though. 
you know, because it's moving the air around, so now we're hitting more of the whole room than just this area. Hear it roaring? Those wood chips do make a difference. This, I think, was softwood. I'm not sure what species it was, but putting those hardwood uh, wood pellets in there, I think, made a bit of a difference. I think what I'm going to do is make a bigger metal grate with slots or holes in it. I might put slots. Holes takes forever. Probably just cut some slot, slots in it with a quarter inch grinder bit. Let's see what we're at. Oh, I saw 650 for a second. drip of water hitting. So the stove works awesome to heat up this big of an area you know with just this small amount of wood. I mean seriously how much wood have we used? Not a whole lot. Yeah, I don't think it's been an hour yet. Maybe it's been an hour. But even you know, from going from 26 degrees air temperature or whatever it was up to, you know, 40, 50. 50 is a lot more comfortable. We're at 46 right now. That's a hell of a lot more comfortable working out here in 46 than in 26. That makes a huge difference. You know, it's good enough. If you were heating a smaller area, you know, and, you know, if I'm running this longer, Remember, I'm, I'm going from dead cold, everything in here is freezing, up to temps. This thing's working awesome. If you kept the space warm, you know, it would be, this thing would work fantastic. I wanted to show you guys, this thing's kicking right now. And uh, take a look at this. You see in there? Help oh, suppose you can. There's <laughs> like no smoke. No smoke whatsoever. Okay. There's a the fire. Chimney pipe coming out, no smoke. Take a picture of that. 